Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and today I'll be unboxing Warcry Catacombs. Okay, let's do this. So here we go, Warcry Catacomb. Super excited to be opening this today. Um, since I got the Corvus Cabal Warband, I've been hooked on Warcry. I couldn't wait for the new Catacomb starter pack. Um, I got this from Firestorm Games and I ordered it online and then collected in the Swindon branch. The whole process was great and um, can highly recommend. They've got a great stock, lots to choose from in store and the website was really good too. So I'll put the link down below with my other affiliate links and you can go and check them out. So the retail for Catacombs is £125 on the Games Workshop website and I paid £112.50. So there are a few sites out there offering some great discounts, so it's good to, to shop around. But let's get started. I think, sorry about the reflection there, but uh, there we go. First impressions of the box art. It's not giving too much away, but let's um, get this film off and then we can, can have a look. Have a look at it all on the outside. It's still a bit shiny. Let's hold it like that. That's better. Great. So it says on here, it's got everything you need to play. And from looking around, it doesn't have the, the battle cards that came in the original pack. But I ordered those separately. So that's all right. And it looks like we've got two scenery options. So you've got the, the double-sided board. And so you've got the dungeons under the land of chaos. And then on the wastes of the eight points. So you can play either either one. I'm really excited to be getting the two new war bands, Scions of the Flame and the Knight Shadow Stalkers. And it also comes with two books, so you get the original core book and the the Catacombs book. So that's really good. Got your dice measuring your tokens. So let's get it open and have a look. There we go. Let's get rid of that. So no artwork as soon as we open it. It's the sheet of paper and tons of plastic, which is awesome. So here we go. This looks like, it looks like both of them. The signs of the flame. Let's see. That's the first sprue. So it looks like we may have both war bands on the same sprues. We'll find out when we build it. Uh -huh. Some more, more miniatures. It's looking really good. Some good weapon options. Crossbows. They look like guns, but I don't think they are. Can't be. Okay. And then now we're down to the terrain. I'm really looking forward to building the bell tower. I want to use this as a centerpiece for the Corbo, uh, Corvus Cabal. That's looking awesome. This is so cool. There's tons and tons of terrain. This is the centerpiece, the sewer entrance. I guess you could use that as like a well, like a, a blocked up well or anything you liked. And this is more. Oh, the skeleton's really cool. That's really good. Really good detail. And then it looks like, oh, so we're still on the, so this is still the, the wastes of the eight points. So that's the above ground terrain. More above ground terrain. And then these are the, the doors, the dungeon doors. When I first saw these, I wasn't too sure if I liked them or not, but seeing them for real now, they look awesome. And this bridge is really cool. And look, tons of skulls, skull detail. So the detail's fantastic on this. I think it's going to be really good to paint as well, really fun to paint. There's another one. Just let it focus. Yeah, that's really good. They kind of reminded me of Hero Quest a little bit, but I can certainly use them in some Dungeons and Dragons games as well and so you get two of the same so that's two sprues with the same 
so we get two of those. One, these are two different ones. These are different. And this terrain, so you get tons of terrain. Let's put that out of the way. And then it looks like we've got two large sprues of miniatures and then three standard kind of war cry size. And then we come to the bit more artwork so we get a poster, anything on the back. Let's check this out. So that looks like a replica of the front of the box. I've seen some good artwork online where it's got more different levels. So hopefully we'll see that in the expansion, but you could easily like make terrain or, or use the terrain, in the, the, the overground terrain underground, I'm sure, no problem. But that's looking great. Can't wait to build this one. And then we've got the boards, I guess so, and the tokens, the measuring. Uh, and then we've got two books and the cards and here all the bases some spare bags and the three color standard war cry dice okay let's get rid of this Let's open up the boards. I really like these tokens. I've certainly seen them these online. So is it just one? So double sided. And then this is the board. So that's the dungeon. Looking really good. Love all the lava. Again, this reminds me of Hero Quest. But and I can certainly imagine playing Dungeons and Dragons on this. And then up we go to the other side. Really nice detail. And it's a good size, you know? So we're looking at what? Two by three foot. Maybe two by, by three foot. And then we've got the books. Here's the catacombs. Death and glory in the lands and dungeons of chaos. So it's really cool to be moving from above ground into the, into the dungeons. I'm looking forward to the campaign mode for this, which is going to be awesome. And then building instructions. And it's going to give us all the different options for how we want to fit out the two war bands. Then how to build the terrain looks pretty straightforward. I'd like to see a bit more of the above ground terrain, but I think you could, we could try and like make, gonna try and make some. Wouldn't get the level of detail they've got here, but we could certainly mimic the size and shapes to give a bit more playability. But there's certainly enough there to get going with. So that's really good. And so we've got the core book. This was in the original starter set. And I'm not going to go through this too much. I'll do a separate video on each of the books. Looking at maps, really good maps. Yeah, these are nice. A little bit about each of the war bands. The website's really good if you haven't checked it out. Um, ageofsigma.com forward slash warcry and it goes into a bit of detail for each one but I like that there's room that you can really customise it and add your own kind of lore to each warband too 
yeah I like this this is great look at the layout of that really nice and then it's now ah, some nice pictures here we go and then we go through so that's the core book campaign section we'll see how that compares to the new catacombs book and then we get all the the name tables backgrounds for each warrior awesome and then all the cards so if you don't have the card packs you don't need them you can refer to the book but i think it's nice to have the actual cards so that's the main core book and here we go here's the catacombs yeah i love the cover that's really cool and again i'll do a separate video on this book but here's the whole contents so you can see everything definitely need more overground terrain but i really like really like the gates now now i've seen them for real they've really grown on me the doors the doorways and the bridges especially they're awesome so i'll be doing some videos on how to paint all of the terrain and the uh, the two new war bands too yeah this is great i love all the scenery photos so it's nice to have artwork but i i think i prefer to see actual layouts and the, the photos of the actual the gameplay and ideas it's really nice yeah look at that that's cool okay and then we've got all the different missions again there's no cards for these but um hopefully the the they'll be brought out in the future but i don't think it'd be too much of a problem to print off photocopy here's the victory cards for example you could um photocopy this cut them out but if you don't want to do that you can just play it straight from the book so that's no problem i'm sure they'll bring out the cards in the future so there we go catacombs book the core book tokens ruler instructions dice bases cards we've got to look at okay so here we go now you just get the english ones and when you buy the separate warband packs you get all the different languages but here we just get the english so here's the scions of the flame and so many options there with different weapons these are going to be really fun to paint and then the abilities and i'll be going through each warband in our warband deep dive videos so look out for those too and there's the canine shadow walkers not as many variations but still looking great that's a cool one and that's a really good pose so there's a comparison of the two maybe like this and then we've got the, the cards i'll go into these in a lot more detail and, and check out all the stats for each that'll be in a separate video that's really good it's, it's cool that they've gone for two brand new warbands in this set rather than kind of recycling the existing ones and there's all the cards so that's really great so i think overall i really like this set i can't wait to get it built assembled painted um, tons of plastic to play with and two new war bands yeah i'm definitely excited and um looking forward to getting this built and get some games and battle reports up and running so i'm really happy with this purchase um certainly not disappointed by the amount of, of terrain again i'd like to see some more above ground but it's good to see the games going in, an, in another direction and we're really going into the dungeon exploring the dungeons and we'll see what expansion packs we get out terrain expansion packs we get out later in the year 
Um, so, so far, I, I definitely like it what I'm seeing um, when it's built and play a few games. We'll definitely be able to give more of a, of a recommend. Um, again, I got this from Firestorm Games, based in Wales, but they've got branches in also in Swindon. And um, I'll put all the links below to where you can get it. And don't forget to look out for all the Warband deep dives, terrain building and painting, and battle reports coming soon. So what do you think? Have you bought catacombs yet? What are your first thoughts? I'd love to hear what you think about the new war bands and the terrain and the new kind of direction it's going with the dungeon theme. Let us know in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like these and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.